Hey there YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot uh, why your headliner is leaking right here on the top of your A pillar. Uh, I'll show you the video of what mine's doing. There are holes, little tiny drain holes. You can see it right there, right there. Uh, on your sunroof, there's actually four of them all around the outside corners. Uh, this is the one that's obviously having issues for me, so um, people blow this out and after watching a few videos it seems like people always have problems after they blow them out, so um, I think I blew this out a few years ago and uh, this is my fault. So um, Now since I see that that is clear, I assume that this line has come undone. So first, you gotta take your headliner down, which is pretty easy. This clip here unscrews, well it rotates and then it just kind of comes loose. And you can take it out or you can leave it in, either way the headliner comes down. Um, this one I have to go get a screwdriver really quick. There we go. Then that comes out just like that. Don't lose your screw. Alright, and then pull this weather stripping off here. Let's see, it's been a while since I did this. Yep, it just comes right off. Don't need to pull it all off, just enough to get this A pillar off. And then this is a pressure fit, so run your fingers under here and just pull it until it starts to want to pop. Another one of those things that's easier with two hands. Ah, and she's wet. I got my mic ran through this for my Bluetooth. Alright, then that just comes off. After you soak yourself with a little water. So be prepared for the water. These little honeycombs make for great little cups. You pull your headliner down and take a look. Maybe pull a little bit more if your weather's stripping down, I guess. There we go. Alright, and there is that hose. Let's see how loose this hose was. Oh, it's on there pretty good, actually. So, oh, nope. That came off pretty easy. Uh, Alright. So, looking up in there, you can see light where you probably shouldn't see light. So that means there's an open spot right there. Looks like this little rubber thingy is open. So that's letting water in. That's probably not the cause of the problem, but that isn't good, so I'm gonna fix that. There we go. Pops in. All right, so this little metal clip thing just kind of slid right off, so this was not holding very tight. I'm gonna try to bend this so it's tighter. There we go. And then I might go get a hose clamp. There's a better shot of the nipple. Yeah, I can. I can actually blow through this and hear it coming out below the car. So this is not clogged, it was just loose. I'm gonna go ahead and put a hose clamp on there. Alrighty, Harbor Freight Hose Clamp Assortment for the win. Alright, now it's on there. Note the orientation of the hose clamp. That's the only way to get it on there without hitting the top of the headliner. She is on there tight. And it's not coming off. Tugging on it really good and it's not coming off. I might break the nipple off. Job done, time to test it. I learned something today. See the light coming in there? I have a flashlight in the sunroof hole. And so it turns out that it's not completely sealed up here against the roof of the car, like the frame, the metal roof of the car, like I thought it would be. 
it's actually a pan that sits under. And there are some holes here. You can see the light shining through, like right here. So right there, you can clearly see a point where the light's coming through a little tiny hole. I think water will not normally get in those areas because of the design of the seal of the sunroof. It makes it always go into the channels with this tube. So <clears throat> I'm gonna guess that that loose hose was my problem and that the continued leaking was just me overflowing the, the catch basin thing. So let's see if I can get a video of some water running down the tube itself. All right, it's going down the tube. See it? I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. So I'm going to put this back together and then um, see if that worked. Well, definitely want to put your roof liner up there before the weather stripping. There we go. And then the weather stripping. There we go. Hopefully that's the last time I ever see wetness there. Push this back up and rotate it to lock it. And... Is that gonna lock now? There we go, it locked. <laughs> Weird. Make sure you put this in the same way you took it out since this is directional. There we go. took a lot longer because I was trying to mess with the camera but this whole process if I wasn't messing with the camera might have took 20 minutes so don't let this continue to leak because I know from experience in my f-150 that a leak will cause excessive rust and then you'll have all kinds of fun electrical problems because everything is electric thanks for watching